June of 2016, the parents of Mark Ma watching the West Lake Tahoe water as crews unsuccessfully search for their son's remains. The 21 year old UNR football player disappeared while paddleboarding with friends, but authorities never could find his body. Although the local search has been called off, a search and rescue nonprofit is now taking over the college student's drowning case. Keith Cornikin is the founder of Bruce's Legacy, based in Wisconsin. Usually when we come in, it's already after everybody else has done everything they can. So we're always coming in after the fact and, and months and years later. The organization producing results. More than a year later, a break. A quarter mile offshore, a body found submerged 240 feet deep. Plaster County sheriffs believe the discovery is Mark Ma. I've got um, over, you know, right around $240,000 in this boat right here with, with the sonar, the ROV, the remote operated vehicle. Um, yeah, so we we pretty much very serious about what we're doing and uh, yeah, this is what I hope to do for a long time to come. Bruce's legacy began four years ago and in that time has traveled all over the country, including British Columbia. Today's discovery marks the 16th drowning victim. The nonprofit has now connected to the family. It's very special. It's, I mean, it really is. It's uh, just to give me goosebumps talking about it. So, um, you know, just to just to give them that that final closure, is just 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 it's just the most rewarding thing I've ever done. In Homewood, Vicky Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.